fast responding RF detector. Hi, my name is Sasha from RF Power Group Texas Instruments and today I'm going to talk about LMH2121, our fast responding RF detector. What is RF detector and where it sits in a system? Here you will see typical block diagram of a transmit system and you see that 2121 sits right after power amplifier because you want to take a fraction of the signal and measure accurately the power that you are transmitting. Why is that important? Well, if you transmit more power than it's needed, then it's waste, it's heat, the power that is just burned, and you are interfering with your neighbors. If you transmit less power, then you are reducing your data rates, and uh, there is also a chance that your call will be dropped, and that's also something that you don't want. Now, what makes our device pretty much unique is there are three things. First, it offers large dynamic range, 40 dB. It offers very accurate temperature stability and low part-to-part -part spread. And it's fast responding detector. And all these three things I'm just going to show you in a sec. So, traditional approach is that uh, here on the left side. People are detecting the power using Schottky diodes. And then if you see the input power range, you will see that in that range, characteristic is not unique. It's kind of square and then it's linear. So you need to use lookup table to compensate for this non-unique or non-linear characteristics plus the temperature variations. Now, using our part, LMH2121, then in a whole input power range, like from minus 20 or minus 25 dB all the way to plus 15, our characteristic is pretty much linear and it has very good temperature stability. Now, I will going to show you a demo, the response, real response of this detector, where you see that in x-axis we are changing RF input power and you see that this is the output voltage here that our device starts reacting at minus 35 and at minus 30 it already starts reacting linearly and then all the way up to 12 or 13 dBm you'll see that our characteristic is pretty much uh, linear. Here on the, on the slide here I'm you, you can see also temperature characteristics and for 900 megahertz and for 1900 megahertz you'll see that almost in 30, 35 dB of dynamic range it's really flat temperature characteristic within plus minus 0 0.05 dB so very good temperature characteristic and here on this slide you're actually seeing statistics of 50 devices where you see that more than 35 dB of dynamic range we are uh, getting less than plus and minus 1 dB of temperature error, which is very good. Now the next thing what we are going to show here today is fast responding feature of this device. And for that I'll be back with you in just a second. For time domain measurements we are moving to oscilloscope. The output of LMH2121 is shown as a blue line. Yellow line is showing input RF signal to our device and that is LTE 12RB. The fast responding feature of this device is shown in the form of following nicely the envelope of this LTE signal. Response uh, rise and fall time of this device is about 165 nanoseconds. For more information about LMH 2121 and our full RF power detector portfolio please visit ti.com slash rfpower. Thank you very much.